match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albaid Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Portugal versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And the starting role in attack today is handed to Timo Werner. And the game begins. Rudiger. Sané. Werner. Here's Ronaldo. There's a slide draw pass. Oh, but he's done brilliantly to cut it out. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. But they dealt with the threat posed. Well, the 2018 World Cup was a bit of a horror show from a German point of view. They didn't fare an awful lot better at the last European... Hang on, Derek, it's a chance here. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. So back underway, having conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Well, they have the ball once more. Werner. Müller! Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Diogo Jota. Ronaldo. 
That's useful play. And overcame the ball from the flank, but dealt with in the end. Oh, he saved it well. Well, opting for the short corner. Superb block. Werner. Did well to win the ball back. He has teammates around him. Ronaldo. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. So back underway following the equaliser. Serge Gnabry. Müller onto Zane. Can he give them the advantage? Vital intervention. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, the danger is still there. What's he going to do here? Mula. Bruno Fernandes has it. On the offensive. Ronaldo. Can they forge ahead? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Timo Werner this is Müller and back with Zane and here's Joshua Kimmich well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Thomas Müller. Can he find the right pass? Gnabry might take the lead. Just can't get it past him. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Oh, good save. Excellent header. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, not quite accurate enough. Well, his movement was good, he attacked it well, but he just got underneath it. <laughs> Error from the keeper, will they seize on it? Gnabry. On to Zane. Tremendously strong in the tackle.
Fernandes. Joao Cancelo. Ball's gone. Davi Devaum. Werner. Still passing it around with authority. And lining it up. Defensive excellence there. Bruno Fernandes. It's with Ruben Neves. Joao Cancelo. Not showing good defensive judgment. Well, the stats confirm it. Germany have been the more dominant team over the last 15 minutes. And they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Good looking sequence. Bernardo Silva. On to Bruno Fernandes. Big chance. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? So, two minutes to be added on at the end. And intercepts again. Ronaldo. And here's Neves. Guerrero. Here's Bernardo Silva. Can he put them in front? Wonderful goalkeeping from Manuel Neuer. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, a more than satisfactory performance from Ronaldo in the first half, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they... Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Timo Werner. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Diogo Jota. There's a slide draw pass. Ronaldo! And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And I have to say, the finish from Ronaldo is just brilliant. He's such a good technician. It's a wonderful goal. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Cristiano Ronaldo. Kimmich. David Raum. Goretzka. Could cross it in here. Still looking for space. Goretzka. Now Kimmich. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Joao Cancelo and Portugal moving the ball forward what can they do from here could be well a poor effort when all was said and done and simple for the keeper well he's made a real mess of that hasn't he what a chance that was Werner well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball Gnabry, Müller, 
This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. And Germany recovering possession well. Ronaldo. Now with Jota. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Can he convert? And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Here it is now, a substitution. Substitution for the hosts. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Thomas Mueller. Entering the match, number 16, Marco Reis. Who can he pick out? Well, not cleared away completely. Bernardo Silva. On to Jota. And he did what he had to do defensively. Now they've decided to make a change. Elects to go short. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Good bit of pressing. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Substitution for the hosts. Leading the match. Number 18. Timo Werner coming onto the pitch. Number 11, Kai Havertz. And the short option preferred. Leal. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Kai Havertz. Germany in a position of menace. Marco Reus. And now Havertz. This could be the equaliser. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Extremely sloppy in possession. Well, they're so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. Well, they have to have that sense of self-belief. It could happen for them. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, since they have the ball, a referee playing advantage here. Well, sometimes advantage just doesn't work out. And the referee has awarded a free kick now. Substitution time it is here. Ronaldo and Bernardo Silva has it now the attack peters out and that means it's goalkeeper's ball Kimmich Raum Goretzka the ball with Marco Reus well they're attacking but time is the great enemy not what he was intending bad pass Ten minutes to go. Ronaldo. The supporters want to see him have a go. And struggling to get the shot off. Not to be this time. Havertz. Return to Gnabry. This could square the game. And it has! Such late excitement and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak
Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. Leon Goretzka. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Still pushing for a winner. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Joshua Kimmich went in strongly, decisively. Leal. He read it well, but still work to do. Hoffman. In the right place to cut out the pass. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Can they forge ahead? Oh, right in the nick of time. Rice. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Now showing excellent vision. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end. An even contest. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Gundogan. Well, they know they need to stop him. Able to get a body in the way. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. So the corner played into the box. Well, still an issue here. Rudiger. Can he find the right pass? Kai Havertz must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Now sending it in. Well, did his job defensively. Rudiger, Jonas Hofmann on the ball, Raum, still level here, but the pressure escalating, can he play it in, not a good pass, could be a chance to break here, and the referee is quite rightly letting it go, and does well to keep it in play, a very effective challenge put in, And a chance for him on the flank. And reading it absolutely superbly. Rafael Leao. This might have potential. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And he has options available. Still trying to make something happen. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials.
And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. To be replaced by number nine, Andre Silva. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Goretzka. A sloppy pass. Joao Cancelo. Here's Ronaldo. Andre Silva. Might really be able to trouble them here. Will he find the net? And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Bernardo Silva distributing intelligently and fine goalkeeping. Pressing high to win the ball. Kai Havertz. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. Foul there, free kick awarded. And clears his lines. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. Oh, good play this. Bernardo Silva. On to Bruno Fernandes. That's a routine take. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. That will be that. Germany will have to live with the outcome. A defeat in this game. Stuart, your analysis. Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. 